Hey, what is up, viewers? My name is DK, and welcome to Gone Home. So this was originally a PC exclusive indie game that became so popular and, and became in such high demand that they re-released it on the PlayStation 4, which is what I'm playing on right now. I don't know if it is on the Xbox One or not. I'm sure some of you guys know, so if you do, feel free to enlighten me with a comment or a tweet or whatever you want to communicate with. Um, but I've heard some absolutely amazing things about this game. Uh, but before we begin, I do want to say that I, I do know it's a pretty atmospheric game, so uh, put some headphones in, uh, turn off the lights, get some, increase the volume, so you're really in this with me. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin our journey into Gone Home. I don't know anything about it, so this is going to be a first kind of experience with it. Loading. I'm excited, man. I've, I don't know if you guys know... Alright, so... For those of us who are watching this on Twitch and may have noticed the fact that there was a little bit of an interruption is because of the fact that um, my PC, which I've recently rebuilt um, and fixed the motherboard of and stuff like that, uh, is, I think I maybe have uh, fixed the fan on wrong uh, or, or the cooler on wrong, so the, it's just really loud. Uh, the Fulbright Company presents. So it's just really loud, and if I ever have it on, it's just... Hi, it's Mom. Really uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Gone home. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. All right, are we home? Yeah. Okay, let's see how this is. All right, now, um, for those of us who follow the tour, you'll know that uh, I'm actually, so I can, Cool. Oh, sweet. Um, I'm going on vacation next week, and um, so oh, there's a note. Ow. Hurt. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, uh, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find me. I'm trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. Mom and Dad, basically. Um, we'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Someday. Oh. Let's see. Oh, damn it. Huh. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Sweet. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, what does it say? Six dollars. And that's expensive. Let's see how it's back. Let's check the contents of the backpack. Oh, a one way? Am I the only one that's confused? What is this game? Um, it is Gone Home. It's a uh, first person. I guess mystery. It's, it, it was originally it's an indie game, so it's not like a huge AAA release. But um, okay, unlock door. I have a flashlight. Cause I, need a flashlight. I don't think it's a horror game. Cause God help me if it's a horror game. I'm not. I'm not ready for a, a horror game. If that's what it is. Left. Oh, this is instructions. Okay. Or directions, not instructions. I know, I know how words are. But yeah, like I was saying, if you want to film me on Twitter, you'll know that... Uh, how long have I played it? I've This is just the beginning, so it's probably... We're like five minutes into it, if if that. It's very, very early, early on in the game. I literally just... And I'm, this is the first time I'm playing it, so... If I... I'm pretty bad at it, that's why. But, um... Yeah, if you're going to, you'll know that I'm going on vacation next weekend to not really 
uh, stress myself out uh, because I'm trying to get videos ready for you guys for that date. Um, I am doing every other upload, every other day uploads, and uh, this, depending on how long this is, this will be in parts. I could make it into one long video, but I feel like it would just be more convenient in parts. But we'll see, depending on how long it is. If it's like a 40-minute long video, I, which I doubt. I don't think I can ever finish. I don't think I'll be able to finish a game in 40 minutes. But if it's actually that how how long that is, then you know I won't I I won't split it up. So we can check where we are. This is a huge house. Read note. Uh, just what is going on in the game? So you basically just join. I I, I came home from vacation, uh, and no one's home so I'm just trying to investigate to see what exactly is happening so welcome you student we hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things one study a sturdy folder with pockets for each of the your sixth grade class wow this actually feels like a regular uh, high school like um, Note, uh, one line notebook uh, per period or one large notebook with six divided sections. At least six pens, blue or black ink with six pencils. And s what? Why? I've never had a requirement where they specifically said six pencils. But um, one box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your signed locker, a nutritious lunch or $250 uh, $250 for a lunch provided by the school cafeteria. No. Uh, and a positive attitude. Please remember to be to get plenty of sleep uh, the night before. See, uh, a positive attitude. Stuff like that. It's just really cheesy. Oh my God, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So it's the first day of school, and there I am introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. The Psycho House Girl. But no, um, I remember uh, two years ago, it snowed really, really badly. So my high school, like, a uh, like, bunch of, like, teachers and like, I think, like, assistant principals or whatever, they made this music video, uh, I think it was, like, Let It Go? I think they made Let It Go a uh, parody and they shot it. It was like a full music video for it and they they when they called us to like say, Hey, uh, there's no school today, they told they talked about it. Oh man, that was if you have ever felt awkward, that that's that's it. Is it? Severe weather report. Oh okay. That's music. What is this? Making friends. I need that one. <laughs> this might help. Wow, dude, Dad's a savage. You know that feeling? Holy crap! Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this like army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. 7-Eleven. So I'm guessing Sam's our little brother, and I guess we're hearing him, though he does sound vaguely like a girl. I'm not gonna judge, though. I'm not gonna lie, before puberty I was fucking sound like a twat. I don't know why I'd say twat. I'm. It's, it's very British of me. I'm not British. Okay, let's read this note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come back, uh, come and see uh, the, the new house. Come call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I have ever hang out with him in the first place is <laughs> he had a Nintendo when we were little. Uh, no, I think Sam, oh, maybe Sam is a girl. God damn these gender neutral game gender neutral names. Let me see. Katie. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe, yeah, maybe she is a girl. I could be wrong. 
I don't know why I thought she was a guy. No, I'm glad that there's people interacting because I feel like if I if, if I need help, you guys are there for me. Because I feel like I will need help. Grab a photo. Oh, there. I guess Sam is a girl. You are correct, and she has pink hair. Okay. Sweet. Good morning to the morning now. Read obituary. Oscar Mesa, at 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. This house? Is that why they said this is a haunted house? Oh, the crazy house or whatever? Whatever they said. Grab highlight. Can I use this highlighter? No, I want... Oh! <laughs> You're bad at these... Don't worry, I'm worse. Um, oh, this is, they say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specific, uh, specialized, specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LDCD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to, uh, share this particular, that's cool, that's a good Paper. Oh. Guys, please tell me it's not a horror game. I'm not prepared for this mentally. What is this? Oh, the JFK. What? What is this? Oh, the killing of J JFK theory. You've seen the movie. Discover the truth. All right then. Boone County. So yeah, that that murder, death. No, the death, not the murder. Uh, definitely happened here. Is there any secret bookshelves? Sarah is not bad. I'm uh, really like this game excites me in the fact that for those of you who've been with the channel for a long time, the stranger under my roof. Um, you'll know that I love indie games, and the fact that finally we're getting an indie game that's actually open folder and read the letter 0451 uh, November 1st 1994 dear Terrence David's asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting for the last few months frankly they've been they're becoming more uh, terrible than they're worth from an editing standpoint there are a, there's a word limit it's your job to stay under it not mine to cut it back uh, get cut back to it even that even then it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of the home theater aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the saw, uh, of the hardware, not uh, rem ramifications. R no, rumina ruminations. R I can say English, you know, people, English. Look at look in the little closet in that room. Okay. Um of your childhood, if I were, uh, if it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter, uh, I'd just be cutting you, wow, wow, cutting me loose, there's tons of guys half your age, uh, who could, <laughs> okay, alright, 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 we're done, so let's find this closet you guys found now, there's a closet? What is this? Oh, ho, ho. oh, the accidental. Oh, hold on. Oh, boys. I have Dad's second book. Oh, oh yeah, boys. Japan's bloody war on dolphins. <laughs> ladies in the ring of women. Wait, ladies in the ring. The women of wrestling. Very interesting. Okay, I guess you have to put it back there. Alright, um, what closet are exactly you're talking about, man? Let's see. I don't see a closet. Oh, there's a lamp. I want a freaking. The electricity bill is just gonna be freaking through the roof. Hmm. Maybe it is zero. Five. One. Oh, snap! That actually worked! <laughs> oh, for all of them? God. Dope. And you guys said I was smart. Dear Mr. Mason, 
Wait, Mr. Mason, is that the guy that died? Please find enclosed your original document and a typed copy of your records. And the notarized copy has been filed at your office at our offices. Thank you for entrusting your, your our firm with this important matter. Oh, okay. Nothing in there. Crap, we ring line. Is there in there that I can read? Okay, that's weird. Okay, let's continue. Okay. U.S. National Force. Oh. Light, please. Yeah, come on. It is a bit weird to control. What's with this guy in Terrence? Remember the accent? So what's with the obsession with JFK's death in this in this game? Or I mean, I mean, what the character is. This guy really, really likes the death of JFK, or reading about it for some reason. Oh, copyright. No, nope. not dealing with that. World history. You know what world history belongs? In the trash. Or on it. Actually, to be fair, history is like one of my favorite classes in high school. <clears throat> oh, wow. Samantha. Oh, yeah, she's definitely a girl. Yep. I thought that said see me, but it says D me. No, I thought it said D me. It says e whatever. D. Brubak. 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 Ah, weird names. Weird names. So much light here. This house is huge. What? Holy crap. Okay. <clears throat> I really don't. I, I've yet to figure out what's going on in this game, so. I mean, obviously. Oh, in there. Hi, Lonnie. So, if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I think. I can. But I can drive you home, too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after this. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. Wow. Wait. Lon. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, <laughs> I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Okay. Best lead plan. What? Oh. Best lead plans. Why is that in my back? Oh, best leap. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, what I just picked up there, when the audio was talking, because I don't want to talk during it, because I feel like this is a pretty story-based thing. Um, it says something about the attic, and don't tell it, don't tell mom and dad, whatever you found, and something about the attic. Janice Green Rare. Controlled burn, scheduled for Boone County. Those are always weird. I was, I was going to, I was driving... Uh, one day through like not the countryside but through some back roads and it was early in the morning so it was like I was like what's going on like oh this freaking just fog everywhere and as I passed through it I smelled and I was like this is definitely not fog this is someone burning shit it's weird hanging out with girls 
Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. Oh. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Hmm. So does she, I don't know, I don't want to be judging, I'm not, not judging fast to the trigger, but I think Sam and Lon Lon Lonnie? Sam and Lonnie have something going on here. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Green Brayer, as 17 years of... Hold on. I'm not looking at... There we go. As 17 years old, and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on, from, on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me. I thought she wrote three than me. And yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. So yes, yeah, Samantha is a girl. I th we haven't figured it out already. So I, I really haven't figured it out. Oh, hold on. Oh no, the cassette's not in there, is it? That, that was empty though, when we looked at it. Oh, cassette. There it is. Oh, good lord. Not my type of thing. Putting it back there. Okay. Oh, let's turn that off. Really nothing. This, this, you can definitely tell this is a, oh, is that, is that Lonnie? No, these are actresses. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Look at that. Better not have been reading my secret diary again. Oh, I don't think it'll be the same one, but. nice room. I feel like I'm invading someone's private space right now, but... So I'm playing the sister right now. I'm just kind of reiterate for myself, really. Why are all these books the same color? Like, just white. Um, so I'm playing... Uh, I'm currently Sam's sister. Groove. Exclusive. AIDS in Africa. Soul Asylum. One of them hippie magazines. I mean, not hippie. Hipster, hipster magazine. Read note. Wow. Hey, see, hey, Sam. Do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school in the, uh, at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend, and Todd wouldn't won't shut up about it. So either it's good, or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom's supposed to cook dinner for us uh, tonight for a change, but I think I can just ditch uh, out for it probably. What time? Also, I wouldn't. Uh, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, is pretty hardcore. I guess... Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back. Um, according to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess... Uh, t -t -t what has happened? Um, just explored. A couple audio tapes played. Um, nothing really. We're still trying to find out. I th I, I'm trying to get to the attic, because there's something in the attic that I have to get to, and there's a secret up there. That, or something like that. So, um, all right. Let's continue. Nah, it's a bathroom. It's not the attic. But I'll turn on the lights, because... I'm doing... Can I use a toilet, though? That'd be dope. I can't. Alright, then. Is there a... Yeah, there we go. What is this? Quick fix. Toothpaste. Nail polish. 
Nailed it. Oh, that's that's a great name for a nail polish. So this is Sam's room, by the way. In case you missed it. Oh, this is where I'm at. Secret cupboard. Oh, you get there at the end of the game. Okay. The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2. Okay. Oh. Hello there. Grab book. Holy Bible. Shit. Okay, sweet. You get to the attic at the end of the game. So I guess we'll keep exploring until we get to the end. I, I, I do know it's a pretty short game. The, the main reason I'm playing this game cause, is because, for those guys who don't know, Greg Miller, okay, great guy, great human being. In one of his podcasts, he said this is a freaking great game that everyone has to play it. So, since I'm everyone, and I'm the embodiment of everyone, I have to play. Uh, ooh, dear mom and dad, I am in the channel. This is this this is my second passion through the channel. Ch channel? What? I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't uh, write to you on the way to London, but I was too excited for the channel. It's definitely thunder. Um, London was great, Dad. Uh, Dad, I know that you've always wanted to visit. I think that you sh really should. You'd love it. If you all, all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I would uh, could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Sweet. Oh, so I'm Katie. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Oh, snap. This is Bob Brosley, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Toothpaste. Combs. There's really not a lot of it. I guess there's, there's stuff that you can find out for yourself. But after the honeymoon, you know what? Oh wait, what? Hold on, what? What did it say? We're oh, discovering your spouse. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that this game is up, you know, out, out for the PlayStation 4, and I'm excited for Song of the Deep, probably more than I am for a lot of uh, actual AAA games that are coming out because. I think that there are some indie games that are either free or just like 10 bucks, 20 bucks that are far better than games that you actually pay for. And oh, what the hell? That's the attic. Oh, oh well, there you go. Katie, mom and dad are going to make up the uh, make the restroom for you to stay in over the summer, but you come. But you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I wouldn't be needing it anymore. Did Sam leave? I mean, I don't know, all right? This is what I'm thinking, all right? Again, call me, like, fast on the trigger. But maybe Sam and Lonnie have a little bit of a, a relationship. You know what? You're allowed to love who you want. But maybe the parents weren't like that. And they were kind of like bad against it, or maybe the friends were bad against it. I don't know why. I, oh, actually, it is 1995. That's a good point. So maybe they were against it and be like, "Hey, you can't be in a lesbian relationship." And so now she ran away with Lonnie. I hope running away is all she did, and not anything else. Samantha Greenbrier. Oh, look at that. It's like my notebooks, but with less doodles. Actually, less, less everything. I, I don't. I, it's been a while since I took notes in, in school. N I mean, uh, I always take notes, paragraphs of notes, actually. In fact. Oh, God. Exemplary. Oh. That back. It's a lot of exploring and kind of solid. Whoa, Halloween show. The Misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costume. See you there. L for Lonnie, I'm guessing. Oh, there it is. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. 
The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. All right, yeah, you're right. It's it's a ghost hunting journal, not a uh, not a journal for uh, not a notebook for for school. 